Hello, my friends. Okay, so this is a uh, planetary weather report um, for the week of basically July 12th through the 18th um, for Taurus rising or Taurus sun, whatever you want, but I tend to listen for the rising sign. Um, and I really want to focus on July 12th, 13th, and 14th, because there's something that's dominating the skies right now that's too obvious to ignore, and it really is the main story for the week, um, if not bigger. And so what I want to talk about is um, the Venus-Mars conjunction happening now, 12th, 13th, 14th of July, and that for you, Taurus rising, is happening in your fourth house of uh, home, family, living situation, or ancestry. And that's probably coming through to help heal some of the stuff that has been kicked up in the past few weeks, starting from like, you know, late June, early July, the first week of July, any aggression or strife or problems coming through in that area is probably getting a little bit healed right now um, because that area was kicked up by Mars coming through, also creating issues with the 10th house of your um, public standing reputation and your career, and your first house of yourself, your identity, your physical body or appearance. And um, I'll get more into that in a second. But basically, Mars is the god of war. He's the god of strife, of will, of your get up and go, how you how you get things, how you um, how you uh, take action, and then Venus is more of the the goddess of love and beauty, romance, um, pleasurable things, what we find in the world to be beautiful, values, or money. So when Mars had just gone through in the past few weeks, that's a lot of fiery energy and a lot of aggression that could have been kicked up in those areas that I mentioned. And Venus came through that same area and kind of tried to heal the wound. But now they're coming together. So th that those opposites, the, the god of war and the goddess of love, basically, or how you, um, your will to get things and your the things that you want or value coming together, a synthesis of opposites, um, a reconciliation, a compromise, a um, coming to a blending of male, female, a blending of yin, yang, um, maybe forgiveness, uh, you know, some type of uh, synthesis and healing it, with both of those and possibly in Leo maybe taking the high road maybe saying this is my individual way to shine but I am going to be the bigger person here there's a bigger storyline playing out and, and the synthesis of these opposites is kind of um, it's just a good good vibe kind of thing like two things that don't really usually see eye to eye or have totally different goals in the world are coming together in this one moment um it's the action you know to get or attain and then the desires um all mixed together so that happening uh in your fourth house of home and family that should be a healing and maybe a key or a turning point of like what has been happening in the past few weeks and so we can say great it's mars it's venus they're coming together in my fourth great sounds great yes but i think it's a bigger key than we realize because i think it's a turning point in the narrative of the year compared to last year and the next year that we're going into because i noticed that this um this venus mars conjunction is happening at it's at uh, 19, 40, 19 degrees, 43 minutes or something of Leo. And I'm like, that's odd because when we had the last eclipse, solar new moon eclipse in Gemini, June 10th, that was at 19 degrees and like 46 minutes of Gemini. So that means this is an exact sextile to that last eclipse we had. And that was one of the big final eclipses of the series of Gemini Sagittarius that we've been dealing with for a year. And that makes me think because a lot of people seem to be on a bridge right now of old life, new life, one level, next level. How do I get there? I'm kind of lost. I'm kind of stuck on the bridge. I don't know how to get from there. Do I want to leave from there? 
yeah, but how do I get to there? I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of a feeling of stagnation. And I feel that once we start getting those eclipses changing into Scorpio Taurus, starting November 18th, I think we're going to get the ne the first um, of that series coming through. That's going to change the whole thing up. And there, there's going to be that sense of the new world appearing and more uh, stuff happening in those realms. And it will still be playing off of the Saturn Uranus square that's going to be happening next year, which for you is the place of uh, your 10th of what you do out in the world, how people know you your career and the first your identity yourself how you put yourself out in the world and how people see you your physical body or your appearance so that's going to be in play and really much more in play once we get those eclipse coming eclipses coming through starting in november and that's why i would look at this mars venus not just as great mars and venus are coming together that's fun it's going to be in my fourth house of uh you know the home and family living situation healing this problematic area that pr was probably kicked up in the past few weeks yes but i feel like it's a bigger key because it links into that past eclipse that we just had that's kind of like the one of the last eclipses of the last year and then it's going to also uh you know be a major it's it's it, it, engaging and turning the key of, of the ignition of this square that we're going to be dealing with with the new eclipses coming through and um also i would pay attention to some things that might be popping up by august 10th and 11th because that's when the sun will be going over this degree this like 19 degrees of leo and i would find maybe another kind of not monumental thing but maybe a dream maybe you meet someone then maybe something happens and just like cherry on the cake of the whole thing to see oh it's really polishing this key that i have this key of whatever this turning point of of the narrative is at this point I would pay attention to what happened in June, June 9th, 10th, 11th, to also pay attention to August 10th, uh, 11th, because it's like a variation on a theme kind of coming through um, and, you know, taking us from the old to the new. Um, and let's see, is that all I have to say about this? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, the next year with you as a Taurus rising, this is going to be big because these eclipses are going to be on your first house of in your first house of self, identity, body, and then seventh house of partners, relationships. So this is going to be a big. This I would be paying attention to what's happening these days, and then you know the stuff that happens August tenth, eleventh, the stuff that happened June tenth, eleventh, around then. Um, and that's what I have for you, and I'll be back next week with more. All right, thanks.